Now, you played this game for a little while. Anything missing from this game? Uh, as far as uh, this version and the PC version? Well, or we, we, we can get into that real quick. Um, the big thing about this one that's compared to the PC version that's missing is the map editor. And for some reason, Unreal decided that you didn't need a map editor if you bought the PS3 version. Um, it's kind of lame, in my opinion. Uh, I Honestly, I think they should have made this a two-disc two set where you could... Uh, one disc is for your PC, just the map editor, or at least put the map editor online to download for everyone to download. Because if you do buy this version, you don't have the ability to uh, create your own mods. You can still use mods, just not create your own. But yeah, other yeah, other than, than that, anything missing from Unreal as a whole? Uh, no, dude. I mean, come on, man. Just like you can use a controller, you can use your keyboard and mouse. If you want mods, you can download mods. You can't create them, like you said, and I kind of wish, like you said, there was an extra disc or included on the Blu-ray disc itself um, as download. But there is nothing missing. It, the game is awesome. Nothing missing. Yeah. My, my, my only biggest thing missing besides the mods, on, or besides the ability to create your own mods if you buy the PS3 version, is the fact of the PS3 itself, not really the game. The PS3 doesn't allow, you know in-game chats, or it doesn't allow all this stuff to go on while the game's going on. You can't view all your, your whole friends list and send out mass invites. It's, it's not like that. I mean, yeah. that's kind of missing, but it's not really Unreal's fault. It's more the uh, PS3's kind of downfall yeah. on that. One thing, though, they did, one thing, though, they did to, to try to address that, though, um, I think the same thing with the, we've seen with the Burnout um, demo. Also, if somebody has the game, and they put it in their PS3, and they play it, um, you'll you'll have a friends list, a community actually, um, a community tab in the game, and the friends that played the game will show up on your friends list, and they'll you can see if they're online or not, or if they're in the joinable game or not, and you can join or and invite um, directly from that community tab um, or your friends list while you're in the game, also, which is pretty cool. Um, not many games on PS3 doing it, and natively PS3 doesn't support it, so um, it's. It's awesome. I mean, the game the game does many things to fix the uh, PS3 faults uh, as of right now until Home comes out, hopefully, and addresses the other network issues. Now, so. a re really quick quick question for you: How many people actually are on your friends list when you go to view view friends that have this game? Um, How many people are listed? Four. Four. Four right now. I I have four. nine. It's it's but, kind of but it's kind of lame. A fifth one is coming pretty soon. Thrill House. Thrill House. Good yeah. game. Yeah. Oh, here he has a game, but when he gets back to Italy, he'll be out there, so that'd be five. Yeah, I have, I have like nine people, right now, only so nine people that I know that have this game on the PS3. And it, it, that part kind of sucks, but uh, what, what are you going to do, I guess? Uh, again, not an issue with the game yeah. or an issue with the price of the PS3. Difficulty. Is this game difficult to play, to pick up and play and get used to it? Uh, no. <laughs> The game is, if, if you're not used to fast paced uh, shooters at all, it's a twitch shooter. I mean, you have to jump and turn in the air and fire rockets or guns or miniguns or something like that. So if you're not used to that, it can be a, a big culture shock, definitely. But it's an easy pick up to play game. First person rules apply, but it's a standard if you're used to any other first person shooter. All right. Um, now, real quick, we, we talked, we mentioned it earlier. Um, use creative content, mods. Mods are available on the PS3. Um, to get them, there's a special website you go to. You download the mods, you throw it on the memory stick, plug the memory stick into your PS3, hit download or import, and it imports the mod just like that. Now you go and put do one at a time, which kind of sucks. You can't just load your memory stick up with like five mods, but you can do it one at a time. Download it from your PC, put it on a little flash USB flash drive, put it in here, hit import. Now speaking of that, Halo 3 just had some maps come out. Three maps. It was. 800 Microsoft points, which translates to $10. We downloaded four maps, and how much did that cost us today? Um, donut. Zero. 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 Exactly. That's what it cost us. Four maps, zero dollars, zero Microsoft points. My pockets are a little bit heavy after, heavier after that one. That was, to me, awesome. And, and you're like, free maps? Well, you know, they, they can't be that great. No, these maps were friggin' impressive. These maps actually blew some of the Halo maps and, and you know, some of the first-person shooter maps you see out, you know, out there in the game world completely out of the water. These maps were just awesome, I thought. What about you? Yeah, I thought, 
These maps were very well created. Um, and just like you mentioned, I, I, I can mention the site, I guess, we went to. Um, it's called uh, ut3mods.com. And uh, yeah, on the site, it has, uh, right now, it has the four maps plus the one muture. And then on the bottom, if you go all the way down and scroll all the way down, um, there's a way or a tutorial to how to download the, uh, the maps directly from your PS3 web browser onto your PS3. If you wanted to do it that yeah. way, if you don't have a computer, you screen. actually, like you said, just like you said, you don't actually even need a computer. You just plug a, you just plug your a USB drive in your PS3, and you can download it from your PS3's web browser directly to the drive, and then install it. You're good to go. That's how simple it is. Now we're running out of time. Really quick, what do you give this rating? Uh, the rating? Uh, well, well, actually, I don't like nine. I don't like ratings too much. Is is this a? Let's go one out of five. A five. Or, so okay, so we're gonna kind of do ratings, but we're gonna not gonna do it like a we're not gonna do it like a normal scale. A one's a stay away, a five is a must buy, a three is a rental. Where does this fit in? Uh, four. Four. It's um, yeah, it's 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 definitely a rent before you buy if you're not used to fast pace shooters. Definitely, you may not like it. Yeah. It's not everybody. T. I do. I I'm I'm agreeing with you. So four. Uh, a lot. Of, some people won't like that. You know, some people don't like first-person shooters, they're a little hard to get used to. Other people don't like a fast first-person shooter like this. It's, it's really hard to get into. But if you are a first-person shooter fan and you own a PS3, this is almost one of the must-owned games out there on the PS3, that I think. And, and you probably agree, as an FPS fan, you, you have to pick this up on the PS3. Yeah, also, if you don't have uh, your PS3 connected to the internet or anything like that, don't. Probably, you probably won't want to pick up this game at all because that's the main portion of the game is to play online. Exactly. Friends, so if you're not playing online, Call of Duty 4 is out there. Yeah. I, <laughs> that's all. That's, <laughs> that's all I can say. Call of Duty 4 is also mostly online. I mean. I know. Yeah, call, it's like, well, it's got some single player. You're in. It's only like five hours, yeah. but it's out there. But if, yeah, if you're yeah. online, which you should be, your PS3 comes with the free Wi-Fi and like the three sixty hundred dollar Wi-Fi adapter which we got into earlier with the forums. But it comes to the free Wi-Fi. Leash off your neighbors, go online, play this game, have some fun. And um, that, that's all we got. So have a great week, everyone. Thank you for watching our uh, little quick video review. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us some feedback. Tell us what you think. Go over to PlatformNation.com. So uh, check you all later.